I thought I would go live while I am boarding up, um, I'm bagging and boarding up some, well this phone is not staying well, sorry, one second, my little stand is like uneven for some reason, okay, <laughs> um, right now I am bagging and boarding up um, these comic books right here. Um, I have a full set of, it's the full set of 1 through 31. So I just thought I'd show how I am bagging them up. So that way they arrive to their destinations in a good condition. So I'm putting the board in the bag and then just sliding the comic book in there. And that's what it looks like. I've already gotten quite a bit of them done here. Um, I'm just gonna keep going. I do have more comic books I'm going to be listing. I actually double or I cross posted these ones just to see what happens. Um, I cross posted them on Facebook Marketplace and also I list them on eBay. Um, I figure if they sell on, I'm gonna probably do a few on Facebook Marketplace this weekend that I already listed, like cross post them. Um, so that means just copy and pasting from my eBay listing and posting them on Facebook. Um, and also maybe Mercari, because I just want to see if there is people looking for comic books other places other than Facebook, other than eBay, just because the fees are very high on eBay. I would prefer to sell them like through PayPal, um, just because I do have so many to sell. The fees on eBay are roughly about 14%. They have a 30% or a 30 cent fee per transaction plus 11.7% on all collectibles. Um, and then if I were to sell them just to someone on PayPal, which also has protection and I would get, you know, um, I would pay for priority shipping and all that and it would only be a 3% fee. So that's a pretty big difference. I prefer, so that's why I prefer that. And then on Facebook Marketplace, it's 5% fee. And on Etsy, also 5% fee. So Facebook Marketplace would be my preferred place to sell these comic books or PayPal, obviously, because that's 3%. Um, I was selling a lot of things on Facebook Marketplace last year. I do have a hard time um, keeping up with 
all the cross posting of listings and things do generally sell better for me on eBay overall. Um, I think Facebook Marketplace does have a lot of potential though, especially for certain items. Um, like I know I've sold kids toys and kids um, kids clothes very very quickly. I don't know why I grabbed that like that <laughs> um, on Facebook Marketplace. So that's why I usually generally post those on Facebook Marketplace first, especially if it's my own kids clothes and toys. it's just easier that way. Try not to touch my face when I just washed them to touch these comic books. Try not to get too many fingerprints or markings on them. I was wearing gloves when I take pictures of them and stuff, but it's really hard to get them in the bags with gloves, so I guess I'm doing the best I can at keeping them in good condition. Once they're in bags though, they are, I'm done touching them. Because some people might be buying them because they might be worth more, and some people buy them to read them. It's definitely a interesting interesting buying it, it was very interesting learning about the comic books and how what people do with them but if there's a makes me want to learn more about other collectors items if anyone collects anything let me know i'm interested in learning about it <laughs> Cause I can't like I've never really collected anything um, when I was younger my grandma used to buy me Barbie dolls but like collector's edition ones but nothing like this so this is very very interesting to me to learn about um, I didn't really understand the concept I guess of collector collectors items before good. They just look very nice with this board behind them, don't they? Was it 21? 22. I did go out and buy, well, I ordered the bags and boards on Amazon. Once I'm done with these, I think I will um, show the rest of the ones that I plan to list today. Um, and then um, talk about, well I did, so I do have um, one comic book that I've had offers on. Um, it's Fantastic Four, number 48, Coming of Galactica. Um, it is, I've had a couple offers on it. I listed it for over a $1,000, um, but I kind of looked into, I, I um, went on, I think it's called gocollect.com, go collect. I, it might, there might be other letters and words in that, but don't quote me. Um, but yeah, it's a comic book. It kind of tells you all about comic books and how much they sell for. And with the condition that it is in, I would say that I overpriced it, um, but I did receive a couple offers. So I'm kind of been going back and forth um, with those offers. Um, I just countered them both. And so I'm just kind of waiting back to here. They might just, they might not do anything and for, say forget about it. I don't know. They haven't responded. 
for a little bit now, so that's fine. I think if I, once those offers are off the table, um, I'll just lower the price to, mm, I'll probably lower the price to like $900 and see what happens, maybe a thousand. Um, Cause I have it listed over a thousand. I think I'll, I'll probably do a th uh, 900, maybe 950. Um, the first offer was, I, I put no lowball offers because I know how people can think that, they might think that I don't know what it's worth, I guess. But we'll see what happens. I am willing to let it go for what I countered at because of what I researched. It's actually even less than what I think it will sell for. I think I'm gonna, I would grade it, like from looking at it, it has some damage on it, so that's why it's not a good grade. Um, I really wish it was a good grade because it would be so much more, but um, yeah, so it's probably, we're probably looking at um, between a one, point 1.0 1.5 I wouldn't say that it's anything above a 1.5 but I don't think it's a one I don't think it's graded a one either if that makes sense and that will help me determine like these two kind of helps me see after I read the grading um, like this one's like Straight, perfect, no, nothing on it, like, at all. Um, this is probably, like, a nine point something, but these ones aren't worth that much because they don't have, no one know. I don't know, maybe people don't know what these are. I don't know. I don't know what they are, <laughs> honestly. Strike Force, I don't know. I don't know this. I've never heard of it before. Maybe I should read one, huh? It is kind of interesting. I had the urge to read one of them. I was like, ooh, this kind of looks interesting. <laughs> Whereas before, I never would have thought I'd be interested in comic books. I got four more to go. Because there's 31. So I've done 31 bags and boards here. But I listed them for, I listed these ones on Facebook Marketplace for one, I did free shipping, 125, and then free shipping, 129 on eBay. Because of the fees, you're gonna pay more on eBay. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. listed too. I think I said I was going to do my Spider-Man comic books next. I still have a small little pile of Marvel to do here. But maybe I'll go through some of the Spider-Man just to show what will be going up next week. I have been trying to list like my regular items like shoes and other things that sell well. Like just random assortment of things that sell, you know? And I've been having a hard time keeping up. So I really just want to get through these comic books so that way these are up and listed and they can be bought and be purchased to the homes that they belong to. And 
this one's called? The Last Stand. <laughs> Some of them I didn't bag and board um, since I don't know if they're good sellers yet. Okay. Um, this tw number 24 has like a crease, like a curve crease in it. It's not really like not like it's damaged I would say but it's just got like a slight little curve in it so so I did write that in in there so that way if anyone I don't know I don't I like to be honest with my listings as if I notice it at least <laughs> there we go okay so these are done so much nicer when they're bagged and boarded. Okay, so here are the next ones I'm going to be working on. These ones will probably end up being easier just because I just have to go through them and see which ones are worth more. Um, Cause if they are worth, if they are worth more, I'm going to separate them out. Um, and then whatever isn't worth very much, I'm just gonna sell it as a lot um so yeah that's what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be going through them seeing if they need to be sold together or as a lot or sold separately i guess is what Oh, here's some other ones that I don't know much about. They've been sitting here. We got Sad Sack. I wonder what that is. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one I did open, or I saw it's not connected. So that's not in very good shape. I don't know anything about Doom. Um, we got this one. This is a first edition. Oh, we got first and second. Nice. Of Doom. Oh, first, second, and third. Okay, but the third one is... Oh, thank God it's not the first one, huh? Okay, and then we got Cloak and Dagger. That's a number one. Um, Sleepwalker. That's a number one. And then number two. Of those. Um, there is a couple that I decided I am going to get graded. Oh, Nomad number four. Oh, I have some of the Nomads that I was doing. Um, here's Ninja Turtles, which I think I looked that one up and there's nothing on that one. Um, Nomad, I do have Nomads. I wonder if I, did I already list those? I kept Nomad number one, because I was gonna look into that one. Um, we got Silver Sable. Okay. Sable. These are all number one. Not Silver Sable, but this cable one is. It's X Men. Watchmen, number 12. The Secret Defenders, and that's a number two. And then we got Union number one. This one's from 1993. That one's 1993 too, because, yeah. Yep. I wonder what this is. I wonder if this guy has ever been around since. This one's a really nice condition. I'm going to bring these over here to my kitchen table where I've been listing these. And yeah, I didn't get to these yet. I got the what ifs 
and the Marvel double feature. I haven't gone through those yet. So yeah, that's what I'm still working on here. There's a lot of Spider-Man. Um, I think I am going to wrap up this video today just because there's so many Spider-Man. I think I'm going to do Spider-Man another day all at once. And same with X-Men. Um, maybe next week. This weekend's Father's Day and stuff, so we got some stuff going on. Oh, there's an X-Men number one. X-Men number two. Oh, these are in order. Nice. I got an annual. Oh, not in order anymore. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, what we've been had going on here. Um, gonna keep listing today and this weekend, hopefully, um, as much as I can. It's hard when you have a family, but um, gonna keep working on it um, get out there if you're a seller just get out there and list that's my advice for the day <laughs> all right have a good day that's it